Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something very simple. All right, I'm just going to teach you how you can improve your productivity. All right, so um, what we're going to be doing is learning how to create a snippet. Now, in case you don't know what that is, let me just quickly show you. So you know when um, you're writing some code and you just write some um, keywords and then you see something like this, you press enter and there's a template for you to basically add maybe the condition and um, something like that. Or when you write like the switch, right? And when you write the switch and right here, you just see like this kind of um, template like this, All right? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create your own so that um, you can basically use a few characters and you can uh, basically write a large chunk of code, okay? So um, the example I'm gonna be using to demonstrate this is we're going to, you know how when we try to um, implement like a table view or a collection view, we always do something like this. So we'd say um, mark and do something like this, table view delegates, like this, and um, then we say extension of the view controller, and this is going to conform to UI table view delegate, and I'm actually already getting tired typing all of these things. And then we need to implement two methods, two, just two methods, the this and this, this and that. And just like that, you can already see that this is a template, right? And this is a template as well. But what we're going to be doing is we don't want to type any of these or most of these in the first place. So for something like this, we always have to return something in most cases. So it's either we return like items.count or we return a number. Most times items.count. But for now, we just say, okay, maybe we just return zero because this is a template we're trying to make. Then for the cell, we usually just say let cell be equal to table view dot the queue reusable cell with identifier and here we usually specify the name of the table view cell class so i'm just going to say table view cell dot identifier which we assume is going to be a static variable or a static constant we go ahead and say as and then we also specify this guy like this and finally we go ahead and return cell okay so this is basically what we do when we're trying to set up a table view um, data source and delegates. So just add data source over here. And I'm looking for, yep. All right, so obviously this doesn't exist. So we have this error, this doesn't exist, so we have this error. But for the sake of this tutorial, just disregard those. But what we wanna do is by typing just a few characters, we want to basically um, create this template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, highlight this, right click, scroll down to here where we have create code snippets, click on that, and then we can go ahead and write the name of the snippet. So basically this is, we can call table view delegate, um, table view delegate and data source. All right? So this is our table view de delegate and data source snippet. And um, here we can see a couple of things. What language is this? Well, this is Swift, right? And what platform? Do you want it to run on only iOS or do you want this template to be available on only iOS or drive, driver kit or whatever, right? So I'm just gonna use all so let it be available everywhere. Now this is actually pretty important. This means um, what do you want the, uh, the characters to be? So what characters are you gonna type in so that Swift or Xcode can um, basically suggest this template? And in our case, I'm just gonna say maybe TBX as in table view extension or something like that. Yeah, and you can go ahead and write whatever you want. You can go ahead and even write your name if you will. So yeah, just do as you wish. Actually, I'll just leave Michael over there. So um, the next thing is the availability. So where do you want this, um, basically this template to be available? You want it to be available in all scopes. So in functions, in class declarations, or um, basically what level? Now, since we're doing an extension like this, we want this to be available on only the top level, right? But you could go ahead and click like other options and just have multiple um, levels selected. But for this case, I'm just gonna use top level, right? So now we can go ahead and click on done. And then now that we have that done, we can just go ahead and remove this. And whenever you're trying to maybe um, implement a uh, table view extension, you can just come on and write macro and press enter and voila, you have everything set. Now, if you try to do that right in here and I write macro, you can see we don't have any suggestions because 
it is only available within the scope. So again, just like that. Now let's go one step further. And when you look at this, there are a couple of things, just like I said, that are sort of variables. So for example, this is not always going to be table view cell. This is not always going to be table view cell. This is not always going to be zero. This is not always going to be a view controller, right? So these are variables, if you will. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the template so that when we bring up this um, code snippet, we're going to see like placeholders where we can easily change what needs to be changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Command Shift and L to bring up this dialog. And right here, this is what we currently just created: um, Table View Delegate and Data Source. And then right here, just going to click on the Edit button. And here, want to make first of all, want to make this guy a variable. Now, how do we do that? First of all, go ahead and put like your less than sign, uh, hashtag, right, and then a hashtag again, and your greater than sign. And just like that, it has converted this into like a placeholder, right? And uh, what else do we want to do? We also want to make this one a placeholder. So I'm just going to do like that. Put a hash like this. All right, good. And then we go over to the um, table view part. We want to make this one like that. So if this, this, go right here uh, again. And finally, we want this one. So do the same thing and done. Good. So now we can go ahead and remove this. And if we try to type macro and press enter, you can see that now we have placeholders. So for this one, let's say the class was view controller two, I can just go ahead and say view controller two and or just select whatever I want. So this is item, I can just say items dot zero. Uh, so it's their account. And um, here, what table view cell do I want to render? I want to render maybe profile table view cell. And this is going to assume that you have identifier set up as a static uh, constant, right? So, but if you want, you can also make this part of your placeholder. And then here, just go ahead and paste this and everything is good, okay? So of course you can even make your template more, uh, even better, but you can see how we don't have to type all these things or even think about the delegates that need to be implemented. So we've basically just removed those level of stuff. So again, you can go ahead and create whatever template you want. Um, so let's say maybe you wanna create a template for um, that are available within display. So for example, maybe you want to do like a guard let if you are always doing something like this, guard let self equals self else. Oh, what am I writing? Else return. So you want to do something like this and uh, you want to convert that into a, a snippet. You just right click and um, go over to create code snippet and then just go through the process, all right? And uh, yeah, that's, that's actually what I wanna to talk to you about in this video. So um, if you liked it, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, go ahead and smash the like button as well. <laughs> but anyhow, see you guys in the next video. Yeah.